Hey, this is Jamaka one here. Now we're on our way to the creepy steeple. Okay. So I'm just gonna kill that guy. He might want to take out Flurry. And then go up to this tree so he could go over there to that. I don't know what that thing. A stump. There we go. Then continue on. Alright, what do you do here? Let's ground pound it? Um, obviously not. So let's take out Flurry. Some people had a hard time finding this out. And then just push the boulder. Since you can't push it on the other side. Alright, go back and jump into that other hole that has been revealed. And a new enemy. I think these are hyperclass or something. Yeah, who knows? Let's see. I gotta wait for these blood to take out their defenses, but So, I'm use the uh, use of items to fry. And then use my earth trimmer to take them all out. I just want to get over this quickly. This. Excellent. Beautiful. And then they're all gone. Then after that enemy, you should be at the creepy steeple now. And here we are. The creepy steeple. Oh, walk up to the creepy steep ball. How may I help you? Um, well, I'd like some burger and some coke. Would you like fries with that? All right, sure. Well, that's all I have. And then I'm gonna save here. I don't want to do that all over again. So just get the other side there and open that gate and then go through the door. Now we're inside the creepy steeple. But once when you get in here, some people might miss this. Go into your tubular thing, then go into this hole over here. In here you'll see a bunch of chests, shine spray, and a star piece. Back back. Star piece. And an ice match. Alright, let's get back out here. Oh yeah, and you can't go through this door yet, so... You should keep on going until you see a statue of a star. You or you can just, just push it like that rock before. Use flurries on this wall, and you could get an extra badge. I forget which one it is, but we're gonna find out. Let's see. This is a flower saver. Nah, I'd rather use a happy heart. Okay, go through the door right beside you, and open the box. Well, that's only a four. Oh yeah. Flower Saber drops your FP. Each attack that requires FP by one, which is really useful. Oh yeah, count all the boos, and then one boo will come out and ask you a question. 
Sadly, I answered the wrong thing and guessed 100. But if you guess 200, you get an ultra shroom. Since I was so dumb, I picked 100. Alright, get back he up here. Well, I know this is an optional bus, but uh, I'm going to face him anyways. So he says he's going to be mean to me. I say no. Then he's going to, and all the boosts will start attacking you. So use your super hammer like wild. Just like so. Just keep doing it until something happens. See, just like that. Wonderful. Then all the boosts will merge together. Oh, I said I'd be nice. Well, I crossed my fingers. Take that, you boo. Ah! Big boo! Luigi's Mansion reference. You lost the right. But in here it's called Atomic Boo. He has 40 HP and all that. Blah blah blah. No defense, which is pretty good. So I can't use you can't use your hammer against this guy. Since he's floating in midair. He's gonna suck. One of his attacks will immobilize him. For like three turns, I think. So I can't block while I'm immobilized. Ah! Crush me with your fatness. Alright, now I'm gonna use Power Look. It's the first time I use this Power Look in this walkthrough. Pretty much you have to get all the up arrows. You want to get all the orange ones, and sometimes blue. Orange one will boost your power, and blue ones will boost your defense. I'll be using this move often on bosses and everything. Ow. See that? My defense is boosted, so he g gives me a one now. Well, that was stupid. So use power bounce. And you should break them. Same with multi bomb. Should break them too. And that's pretty much it. Easy as done. And then you get the pretty lucky badge. Alright, it's the end of this part. See ya.